Hello, my friends. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q. I'm back in my kitchen again today. Today, I'm going to be making some candied almonds. Now, I've also previously made candied pecans. I did those in the oven. These candied almonds are going to be doing stovetop. The primary difference between my doing them in the oven versus doing them stovetop is that to the ones in the oven, I use an egg white mixture that I make frothy and added all the ingredients to and mixed in the nuts. For the stovetop method, we're not going to be using egg whites. We're going to be using the sugar, cinnamon, salt, vanilla, and we're going to use some water and butter. And we're going to cook those stovetop and we're going to get them nice and candy. Let's do this. These are the ingredients for making candied almonds. And I'm going to do these stovetop. What I have is one cup of sugar in the raw, which I've ground a little bit so there weren't such big chunks, which would make it easier to dissolve. I've got three cups of almonds, a half a cup of water. I've got one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, and I've got one teaspoon of vanilla. And I've got here a quarter stick of butter, which is four tablespoons. I'm gonna start by melting the butter. And we're gonna add the sugar to that. And cut down the heat, because I don't want it to burn. And we'll incorporate that sugar in that butter. Now there are a couple of methods for making candied nuts, be it walnuts or pecans or whatever, almonds. You do it stove top as I'm doing here, or it can be done in the oven. Okay, to this, I'm going to add my half a cup of water. And we'll mix that up, trying to get all the clumps out of the butter and the sugar mixture. I'm going to add the salt and the cinnamon. In addition to cinnamon, you could also use some nutmeg, allspice, whatever flavors that you you like. Combination of the three, or alone, or not at all. I'm going to also add the vanilla. You can add this now, or you could add it at the end. We want to cook this until it starts to bubble. And the idea is that we want to dissolve all the sugar, the cinnamon, salt, and vanilla in this butter mixture. Reduce it. And as it reduces, it turns syrupy and form the candied almonds. My mixture is starting to thicken a bit, and at this stage I'm going to add the, the almonds. Tumble those around in there. We'll wait for it to come back up to temp. We're thickening up quite a bit here.
My candied almonds are ready to go on the parchment paper to finish the cooling. And we'll just try to arrange that, spread them out evenly so they can The stove top almonds are finished and they're yummy. <laughs>